It's Monday, and that means it's the first day of the week. Well, depending on who you are. Traditionally, I actually really enjoy Mondays. Well, it depends on what I have to do for the next week. If I have stuff that I don't really want to do, then I'm not a big fan of Mondays. But if I'm excited about what I'm doing, then I'm super excited about Mondays. So today, I think I'm going to do something that I've never really done before in the vlog. I think I'm going to play, play back some sections of yesterday's set and kind of walk through them with you. Primarily the flow sections and just what's going on in my head and why I'm doing certain things because when, when I'm flowing and when I'm playing for stuff that I don't really know what the next section is gonna entail, I kinda have a couple of tricks up my sleeve that I use frequently to facilitate that and honestly give myself a couple of different paths to go down if I need to make a change, like at the drop of a hat. So we're gonna do that today. It's freezing out here. Okay, I, before we get into it, before we get into it, I just wanted to have like a, a disclaimer. This stuff is very in the moment specific, so it may not work every single time. And depending on your the drummer, the type of drummer you are, or the type of group that you play for, this stuff might not even work. So don't take this stuff verbatim, just take it as like inspiration, and if you wanna call it that, and kinda make it your own with whatever context you're working in. All right, so we're at my computer and I'm gonna pick up on two different sections. This is the first song. There was like, we just had come out of a big like ending chorus and this is like the flow section afterwards. So let's let's get into it. I just have uh, the clips pulled up on my laptop and I'll kind of talk through what I'm going, what what's going on in my head and stuff as the clips, the clips rolling. So this is the down section coming out of the, the end of the song, it's supposed to be at the end of the song, and we kind of just sat on this for like maybe 30 to 40 seconds. And the worship leader started singing the song again, so I figured I would just start giving some time on the ride. And the benefit to this is I can like just stop it if we like decide to move on, and it's gonna feel really natural and it's not gonna feel awkward. Or I can build from it. So we're tagging it right here. And I felt like we needed to bring the energy up, so I brought that driving kick back in. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the floor tom as accents to help bring the energy up or bring the energy down. It's one of those things where like it lets me do two different, like I have two different paths I can go off of. And then there's just a straight build, because I'm not sure what's coming on next. I decided to accent those hits to make it push a little bit more. And then I go to a second, the second stage of a build, it's a snap build. And the nice thing about this, I still have the option to come all the way down. Hitting those, doing those hits again. This is the chorus part, so I decided to do that with those random snare hits to kind of lift it a little. Now I'm doing like just a straight, just to like take it up to another level before we drop into a big, a big chorus. Or I can just completely cut out. It kind of gives me two different options. And for here, I ended up cutting out. Now I'm just celebrating, you know, waiting to go to the next song. So basically with that, a couple of things that I would really take note of is what I'm, all the stuff that I'm doing, I'm doing it to where I'm not completely defined and I'm not completely like into a build. Cause when you start a build, it's gonna feel really awkward if you have to bring it back down. I try to leave the build into the last possible thing. That way, like when I do for sure know that we're going into a big section, I can jump into that build and we can just flow right into a chorus. Um, up until that point, I'm gonna be doing stuff like the tom or ride cymbal stuff or like a snap build. 
I use snap builds a lot to kind of navigate those moments. That way if I need to bring it down all of a sudden, it doesn't feel as bad versus like me going like just straight eighth notes on the, the snare drum. Let's move to the next section. So this is gonna be the flow moment when we end the song and the, the pastor comes up. This is the outro. How many is thankful for King Jesus this morning in this place? Kind of flowing. Come on, we can do better than that. Can we lift him up in this place? Let's lift up a shout. So right there, when they say like, um, can we lift him up in this place and stuff, for this speaker, that's a cue that we're gonna go into another big like chorus, like declaring something. So what I'll do is I'll kind of anticipate that and do drum fills to get us into a build. The thing with this is anticipation is key and being able to anticipate that stuff is is a need to know to make this stuff feel better and to set yourself up for like something cool. Basically set yourself up for success. Yeah. So let's keep going. To the Lord this morning, let him know you love him. That keep Jesus reigns supreme over everything in existence. Still doing a, no a build. Power, no principality, no demon of hell that can stand in his presence. Let's lift him up one more time. King Jesus, we worship you Lord. So right there, like if it doesn't line up to where the pastor kind of says like, let's declare that again, we can always just do another build of singing whatever, in this case, I think it's the bridge of the song, um, just so that like, it just feels more natural. Like just because like a pastor kind of like doesn't hit like right on the marker, doesn't land perfectly, doesn't mean that like you have to like drop right in as soon as they say like declare it. Like you can have a building a uh, bridge or building chorus and have them still sing over that it still could feel really good and then drop in uh, afterwards it, it literally just depends on the moment and sometimes that feels better than just like lining it up perfectly it feels a little more organic and less produced so there we dropped in for six eight stuff i typically um for six eight stuff as uh, typically when we drop back in, I'll like keep a pretty significant like driving kick drum. I won't do it the entire time. Like I won't just go unless like the moment needs that. But half the time I'll kind of like go doom 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 cat doom 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 cat to kind of give it a little bit of a break. And also with that, if I need to bring the energy up one more level, I could go into that driving thing, the doom, 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 ga, doom, doom, doom. Basically, the name of the game here is not to use all of your cards until you're absolutely sure that this is the final section. A lot of times, I still, like, even if, like, we end a song, I still have two or three levels more that I could do just in case. Because you want to continually build, you want to build energy, and you never want the song to actually, like, plateau or feel like it plateaus. So withholding is a really, really powerful and key thing to do for stuff like this to to pull it off the best the best way possible let god arise and let his enemies be scattered amen He's so, so here so still kind of so doing some stuff because we could still go back into time. it we want to welcome but now we're starting to welcome, so you'll notice I'm bringing the energy down and kind of transitioning. Also, we want to welcome our online audience. We but I'm still letting my, allowing myself some room to be able to celebrate when we welcome people and stuff. with you where you are right now. And so let's let all our online audience know how much we love them also, Gateway Church. Amen. You guys can be seated in the presence of the Lord. We're going to get ready to worship the Lord with our giving and Whenever they get into like a talking moment like this, I'll transition to like kick drum, floor tom, and a lot of times cross stick, just to like give it a little bit of a groove, um, but you don't want to do too much because that can also be distracting. You're just there to keep the keep the energy up and um, to keep the, the momentum of whatever they're saying going. You're, you're accompanying them. You're not like leading them, they're leading you, if that makes sense. It's been challenging. I know there's been a lot of things even dealing with people's psychological makeup, their emotional well-being with the quarantining and the 
separation. So maybe here, I'm using like the floor family. tom, kick maybe drum, and cross stick. This year. Maybe you've lost your job. There's a lot of various things. Maybe you haven't lost anything. One thing that I tried to do with this, um, I keep the kick drum and the cross stick consistent, and the thing that changes is what my right hand is doing. So whether I'm on the hi-hats or I'm on the floor tom, that's where the energy really rises or falls. For stuff like this, like when somebody's talking, they're gonna have different inflections, and if you can follow those inflections, that's, uh, that's a good thing to do. And I do a lot of that with my right hand, mostly because the only the only time that I'm gonna change a kick drum or snare pattern is if like it's a massive like energy drop or spike. But the small like little bumps on the road, I use my right hand to kind of follow. So there, I'll, I, I do, we do that for a while, then I transition to the, the hi-hats, I believe. In the sense that we are in covenant with our creator that we're in covenant with him to, to yeah. sow in our tithes, our first fruit. The difference between the hi-hat and the floor tom is the floor tom I use for more like deep, meaningful type of things. For like church announcements and stuff, I'll switch over to the hi-hats, mostly because of the, the sonic characteristic. They're a little bit higher, so they, they kind of bring the energy up a little and you can make it a little more fun versus like as like somber as like a floor tom or something like that would be. Um, it's just a kind of a nice transition from like deep, uh, somber worship to like video announcements. Like that's just a nice segue that you can use to kind of help again, facilitate that moment. That's, that's basically it. Um, the biggest thing that you need to be able to do is just anticipate. If you can anticipate where somebody is going or at least have a couple of options open to you, you're going to make the moments feel so much better. And by doing that, you can kind of, um, just allow yourself like space to be able to like do fills and stuff like that to navigate if you need to go up or down or whatever way you need to you need to go but hopefully that made sense if you have any questions feel free again to always reach out and all that stuff